going on, guys? What's going on, YouTube? Are you guys ready for a fake leg day? So I'm going to take you guys around the jail for a few new items that I've been trying to for mapping my bold and my quads. In fact, I actually watched this guy on YouTube. I'm going to put his link below. He's awful. I've been like quickly watching when I do cardio nights. 54. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, you guys. Have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go along with you guys on this uh, particular video. I kind of want to explain you guys uh, exactly, um, you know, why I'm going deep on some of the exercises. As you guys already seen in some of my videos, I train legs twice a week. I usually focus on my quads, um, the one day, like the front part, obviously, and I, and I focus on the second leg day. I focus a little more on my hamstrings, uh, calves, and, and glute but every time i do quads i warm up with hamstrings just to prevent any injuries right and um, i've been stretching every night especially when i train legs that same day and night i spent 15 to 20 minutes of stretching holding it between 45 seconds to one minute that way obviously you don't feel as sore but you're able to recover faster and i cannot tell you guys enough it's really super important to prevent injuries, okay? So here it is. So I've been trying this uh, way of leg press for the last two or three weeks now from a guy I've been watching on YouTube. Like already, guys, uh, like already mentioned you guys at the beginning of the video. And man, it's unreal the burn and the changes I've been noticing. Uh, I kind of like... Um, messed up my, my knees when I was younger from doing heavy lifting and just being dumb and I thought doing it like this and going so deep it was going to hurt my knees and no, not at all all you got to do is obviously start with zero weight or only one a couple plates aside go all the way down make sure your knees are kind of touching your shoulders right? As you can, as you can see here and hold it for like a second or two and push up that way you're gonna see feel that really nice stretch in your abductors and like i said it's not gonna affect you whatsoever in your in your uh, knees also make sure your back the back of the leg press is all the way up that way you don't lift your your hips as soon as you start lifting your hips go lower on the weight hack squat same thing i used to go 90 degrees and i, I start seeing all the heavy bodybuilders like going way lower and I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? What, what should I change? So I keep my and my feet a little bit tighter, just like you see, but my toes are, are, are a little bit more farther apart and I go all the way down. Don't go heavy. Start with a very low weight that you can't control and you'll see your knees are not gonna get triggered. This one over here, you see, I'm going past 90 degrees as well just because I think my quads and hamstrings are getting stronger for the lack of exercise I've been doing and I don't been having any issues. Also, the stretching has been helping a lot. Now here, when I'm going to go into this next exercise, the the squat on, on leverage is one of my favorites as you guys have seen in my past videos. I do it all the time. Same thing. I go all the way down and you can see my knees are literally touching my chest in some of the, some of the reps. A lot, man, it's amazing. I don't go too heavy, but one plate and 25 is super heavy enough for me to do between eight to 10 reps, clean reps, okay? You see, I'll go all the way down. My, you see my, my hamstrings are literally touching my heels. Yeah, the pump is crazy and it really gets your blood flowing. You see, I'm doing a little bit of posing here just to show you guys, like it's, it just gives you motivation when you start seeing that, right? And you wanna push harder. And I just finished it, out, finished it out with leg extensions. I tried to go slow. The first couple of reps, I'm sorry, I, I was going a bit fast, but I tried to go really slow, hold it a little bit on the top if, if possible, but don't hold it all the way that your knees are locked. Bend it a tiny bit so you don't have any much pressure in your knees. Just focus on the quads. You don't have to go heavy. Just focus on the quads as much as possible. I always say focus on the muscles that you're working. Okay, guys, thank you so much for you guys to watch uh, this video. I uh, really enjoyed this workout and I hope you guys to see you guys soon.